Long awaited census results are out. Our Washington correspondent Anna Warnicke reports how the results will determine seats in the U.S. House of Representatives and could shift the balance of power in Congress. Good evening. Based on the new data released today, six states will gain congressional seats in the U.S. House of Representatives, including Texas, which is set to pick up two seats, and then states like North Carolina, Oregon, uh, Colorado, and Montana, they're set to gain one seat. The U.S. Census Bureau released new numbers on Monday, revealing the most up-to-date headcount for every person living in the country. The number of people living in the United States was 331,449,281. The Bureau's acting director says six states will gain congressional seats, including Texas, which is set to gain two. On the other hand, three states lost population. With, with West Virginia having the largest rate of decrease. With the seats in the House of Representatives fixed at 435, other states will lose power. Democrats have a razor thin majority right now, and so they're going to be holding on for dear life trying to keep those seats uh, in, in Democratic hands. Dr. Casey Burgett with the George Washington University says states will also use these numbers to redraw their congressional districts. A lot can change, the, the political tailwinds can change, the economy, literally anything. Not to mention we're coming out of a, a global pandemic, so everything's up in the air right now, too. The new number of congressional seats for each state will take effect for the 2022 elections. And seven states are set to lose a seat in the U.S. House of Representatives, including New York. And just to put into perspective just how important it is to get an accurate count, the Census Bureau did say today that if New York had 89 more people, they would have actually gained a seat. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke. Back to you.